You know, rap lyrics, mm -hmm. right? So we say, what did you say? It's like when you go into a meeting, you'd be like, hey, yo, B. And he'd be like, let's go get him. And here comes Susan. Come on, guys, you coming to the meeting? And Come I room at six. Susan, like, <laughs> we here. Post it up. Right. So, you know, all of, all of the folks who need to know what type of meeting we finna have, right. they yeah. here and present for it, all accounted for it, without us raising our hands mm -hmm. for the black congregation. Mm -hmm. So we get it. But we're here. Right. Mm -hmm. Prior to prior to our prof our professional producer and engineer <laughs> 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 clicking. I'm sorry, this shit came up asking if I want to install I'm something. I'm like, no, shit, she was now it. or tomorrow? But prior to her clicking record, we had a conversation oh, yeah. about... How pale we look in these yo, March months. I'm brown, y'all. Remember that I episode when we were talking weird. about how Susan was as tan as of? We might have to go with her. Like, look how white we are. Tan. I'm almost as close as you, Tina. Pardon me. <laughs> Pardon me. I'm I'm presenting closer to my colonizer tone today. <laughs> oh, here we go um, with the Wakanda reference. I'm, I'm <laughs> super white this evening. And it could be attributed to nothing but it being March. That's it. I ain't got yeah, shit. Yeah, ain't no sun. Like, all of my vitamin D is gone. I'm ain't getting no sunshine. Vitamin. vitamin. You getting D? Yeah. Getting yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. Wait, wait. I got that right here. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. Must be nice. Anywho, <laughs> somebody must have cheers and look at you straight in the eye because you good, huh? I mean, I on the, the gym, like I should be. He's like, on the I'm other, in the damn gym. On the they other ain't have my ass. Unmarried and under uncoupled folks, <laughs> uh, which is Latoya and Jennifer. We like, ain't got no damn vitamin ain't D. Ain't no damn vitamin D. Fuck the vitamin D. <laughs> Rona's going around. I need to worry about vitamin C. How about that? Absolutely. How about that? How's your vitamin C going, Shanice? I take that on a daily basis, okay? Mm. I like to make sure I'm well taken care of. That's all that matters. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> anyway, hey fam. Hello. <sighs> Welcome to the Black Effect Podcast once again. This is episode five where we are here to discuss how black culture affects society and how society or society, Jesus, society affects us. When you were talking about vitamin D and my <laughs> mind went <laughs> She got her phone in her hand. I do. And she I, said you know, her society as uh, my said in my society, you know, the road is going around still, you know. All I got you, is you might need a quarantine bag. Skin to go to sleep in. Stop. <laughs> Me too. I do laundry and fold it into and mold it into a shape of a person to cuddle. Yeah. No, yeah. I have that to Tinder. I be trying to tell you. Tinder? Supple, laundry. Men are interested. Let okay. me explain something to you. <laughs> A person, Shanice, a married person who's never been on Tinder. Like, <gasps> Tinder is like hepatitis. Ooh, right. Ooh. It's and, a cesspool of shit. And herpes combination. Oh, you can't get rid of them? Uh -uh. Oh, you got it's, them it's a no, cesspool of no, no. I don't want it. No. So, what you want? You I would. Keep, what? I thought we were just taking it for a trial run. No. Like, she don't know what a trial run is because you know she got vitamin D on the daily. <laughs> on she tap. don't know. On tap. She got the, hey, I'm on my way. Vitamin D. You know, let me tell him I'm about to be rapping. Also, her. my oldest child, don't tell him shit. <laughs> Not the Rona. This is Jennifer. Hi, this is Shanice. I'm Latoya. And she's just here, as you can hear. I'm always here. She's like, here. not just here. Like, I'm here. I'm feeling more enthusiastic as we go along. Good. Did y'all hear it? Uh, no. <laughs> she's, uh, she's to the mic, no pun intended, vitamin D. And she is right to go. No pun intended, but oh, pun intended. There ain't no pun. Don't bring your fucking puns over here, bro. My, 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 my goddamn Instagram is still... 
It's pri- still private. It's got wild. got your niece and I all the way yeah. assed out, like <laughs> just like all out there for y'all to see. And she's like, "Oh no, Niz." Work for us. <laughs> Y'all ain't got work for shit for us. And she out here right. Like, who's this? I don't know. She okay. ain't real. She ain't with it. Well, that's it. But, you know, welcome again. Episode five. We're not fired. We're not in jail. And we are here. How's it going? It's going great, actually. Good. All right. It's been lovely to yes. catch up with you guys. Um, the most recent episode, we share some things that's been going on. Um, most personally with myself. And... Uh, I'm chilling, cooling yes. along that trajectory and that flow. Uh, anybody else? And what's going on with y'all? I don't have the Rona yet. Well, not yet at all. Because yes, I'm yes. not getting it. I had it. I, co- I corrected myself because, you know. I, 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 whew, again, my mind. I'm back. I don't have the Rona. And being that we're all around, this mic, neither one of us do. So we're survivors. Destiny's child, I would sing, but. Yep. Shanice sending nasty messages. Mm-hmm. I don't got no vocals. Yeah. <laughs> no vocals. <laughs> no vocals. <laughs> no vocals. <laughs> but I will say we do continue to get positive feedback. Yes, so I think thank you. one of the last questions that we asked was, "How have you been bringing your authentic self to work?" Um, and then. One of our followers actually told me, she was like, I brought my authentic self to work and I had to tell my supervisor that honestly, I really don't care. I was like, Oop. didn't we tell y'all not to get fired? Don't get fired. Did she get fired? Because that's a perfect you, sentence you, if you kept your job. That is, I mean, that's really a way to be getting let go. However, she did not get fired. All right. So I think it was one of those instances where, <laughs> <laughs> these are Erica Badu stamps. Where she was saying that her supervisor had her fucked up. Mm. Like, it's a little early to start with that. But I think it was an instance of... She was kind of telling us that she brought her authentic self to work. And, you know, she was kind of going through her day. But her supervisor was talking to her in a way that was demeaning. Mm -hmm. I guess we can classify it as. Mm -hmm. Um, So, she had a G-checker. I mean, I am here for that. But also, don't get fired. Yes. At all. Just or in jail. Like, don't flip the desks. Yeah. And leave out the way that Don't flip the desks, but... Uh, don't shake the table. Shake, no, no, no. No, shake, shake the, the table, table. table. But don't shake oh, the table. Shake the table. You can you don't you don't have to shake the table. You don't even have to be K Michelle where you're presenting. You, where you Please. see someone shaking the table. But you can be on the other side where you are... What's homegirl name? Who had... The, What's one girl name who witnessed the shaking of the Is table? it Carly? Carly Rae? Oh, who Ryan? was it? Who had the baby by weird face nigga? That's a lot of them. Yeah, be more specific. Wait, the dream? No, she not the. She had the baby by the weird face nigga, and she did the shower sex scene. Oh, Mimi. Mimi. <laughs> Mimi was like, why do I remember that shit? She. So, that's so, so fucked up that that's how I remember. Right. Her. So so K Michelle said. She shaking you know the table. Yeah. But Mimi was on a sound like, ah, oh, the facial expression. <laughs> Just be the bitch with the facial expression. Yes. Right? Just witness the shaking of the table. And even if you, you know, put the shaking of the table in motion, you know, from the sideline, you ain't got to be like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, if I'm being 100% honest, I don't know how that's going to convey after all the production, I could be screaming at y'all. No, ears. I'm leaving it, but I'm going to tone it down a little bit. But please, okay. you need to know the effect of it. Like, don't go out there wild and out be because screaming. you need to support yourself. But right. also, you need to support yourself and let them know, don't fuck with me. No. Nah. Because you got me all the way fucked, fucked up. up. Yeah, exactly. That's so, amazing. yeah. Yes. Let's look at that, that catch up. But I thank y'all. We love your feedback. So, make sure you continue to give us our feedback. We will continue to ask you guys questions. And we value your feedback. And make sure you subscribe to all of that. Yes. Yeah. We need it. Exactly. Okay, guys. So, from there, let's move on to Candidly Culture, where we discuss our topic of the week. So, we can dive right in, Jen, um, to your topic, talking about gender roles so i know a lot of times in 
this 2020 society. Mm. Some people subscribe to gender roles. Some people don't. Mm. And some of us are kind of a hodgepodge. Mm -hmm. I know I'm in the middle. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm really not here to be your June Cleaver. But also, don't fucking ask me to take out the trash. Mm. I'm not taking out Mm. nobody's goddamn trash. But let's kind of have a conversation and discussion on kind of where we feel like we fit as women, as black women in society today with those gender roles. Definitely. So my question I want you guys to continue to remember and think and ponder on is, is society ready, especially with us black women, to become the CEO of businesses and also and or the CEO of the household? Because guess what? We can do both. Or we can do either. So that's really my question. The first point I want us to think about is definitely in the early months of 2020 and latter of 2019, we saw a lot of women, black women especially, become CEOs, entrepreneurs, financial advisors, motivational speakers, especially when you see influencers on Instagram. And that's great, especially for our generation and our children coming up behind us. Um, So really the question is, is, do you think, the first point is, do you think the world is ready for female, black um, CEOs? We have FedEx, Ramona Hood just became the CEO, and we have the Chase Consumer Banking um, CEO, um, Tasunda Brown Duckett, hopefully I said your name right. Um, do you think the world is ready for it? Or are we stuck in the Fred Flintstone age of, you know what, I need you barefoot and pregnant at home and I don't need you to have any business? What do you guys think? So I can start. Okay. So my personality, we want to start there, mm-hmm. is, okay, so a, a brief synopsis about me if you guys haven't shuffled over into our Instagram page. <laughs> I am a divorcee, and I had I, I was married for some time. Um, I have two children who are very amazing because of that marriage. Um, I've always been considered very bossy, um, very aware of how I wanted my life to proceed and the things that were important to me, and that was something that I was able to pour into. Um, my job and my career trajectory. So for me, mm, saying that either of those things, being the CEO of a particular organization is outside of my reins. It's not something that I view as impossible. Definitely. For sure. Um, But with that, thinking about if I'm running shit all goddamn day long, work and I'm calling the shots and telling niggas what to do and telling niggas how to run shit and context (laughs) step back context niggas all y'all people niggas (laughs) equal people not you know whatever y'all feel niggas is black white men woman cat dog all of y'all all y'all um I'm telling folks how to run shit when I come home It's not necessarily that I want to be in a position of submission, but I definitely want want to be in a position of, I don't have to call all the shots by myself. Have I been in a position and am I am am currently in a position where I have to call all the shots by myself? Absolutely. Where I'm just like, this is what we're doing and that's it. Fall in line. Sure. Um, I don't think that it's something that's, uh definitely subject to being a black woman i think that women in general have to put themselves in a position of that role oftentimes just because of whatever their makeup of their relationship with their counterpart is relational or professional um so do i think the world is ready for it on a large scale they may say no because what we see is men at the forefront mm-hmm. of leadership roles. Uh, what we see is men at the forefront of handling the most pivotal and uh, detrimental uh, organizational conversations and organizational determinations for the ongoing growth of a particular company Mm -hmm. we see men at the helm of that we see men at the top front of 
oh, he made this decision and he made this decision because of his team.